Nothing sucks in the engagement quite like an iceberg video, am I right, fellas? Let's not delay, let's learn some Melty trivia. <laughs> Limited characters. By current code, Melty boasted a roster of 31, but that 31 really consisted of like 17 characters. The rest were alternate versions of pre-existing characters, composite characters consisting of two pre-existing characters, even alternate composite characters consisting of two pre-existing alternate characters. We got Arsuid, Evil Arsuid, Princess Arsuid, Cat Arsuid, Evil Cat Arsuid, Hisui, Kohaku, Hisui and Kohaku, a robot version of Hisui, a robot version of Hisui paired with the aforementioned cat version of Arsui. What I'm saying is they got their mileage out of a pretty small pool of characters, you know what I'm saying? Spooky popularized it. FGC old head and OG gaming streamer Spooky was one of the first members of the Western FGC to really promote Melty Blood. It's entirely possible this game might not have caught on in the US if not for his valiant efforts. Roast Beef. <laughs> 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 Bathroom. Popular meme is that Melty is so poorly regarded that TOs will force them to run their bracket in the hotel toilet. Well, guess what? They play it there anyway. I always saw these jokes as a term of endearment, an homage to the Melty community's dedication to their game. That they're willing to play anywhere, no matter how unflattering. Melty heads play this shit in the bathroom. They play it in the bathtub. They play it in the bus. They play it in the park. They play it in the car, they play Melty in a box, they play Melty with the fox, they play Melty in a house. Popeye's chicken. Crispy. They also played Melty in the parking lot across the street from the venue. Uh, this was a comedy sketch presented before the Melty Top 8 at CEO 2017, paying homage to the aforementioned Anywhere meme. Hand battered. Mash 2A. 2A is an incredibly good button in Melty Blood. You can chain it into itself like six to eight times, depending on the character. This in conjunction with the fact that Melty Blood characters generally speaking don't have reliable anti-airs you know you can very easily just sit there and jab the shit out of jumping opponents as they land now obviously the game is much deeper than this but at a very low level the, the a button is a very powerful and safe tool for beginners melty got no drip ever since lumina was announced the, the, those not indoctrinated into the cult of tatari decided to crawl on the twitter to spread their bad opinions like a dog spreads its shitty asshole against your uncle's carpet they claim Melty Blood characters are bland. This is- it's justified by the fact that the characters originate in a visual novel. A genre where everyone is just like some dude. Also, the Melty original characters look pretty sick. I mean, like, look at Roast Beef, and Powered Seal, and Neko Arc. Len eating cake. This image is everywhere. I don't know. Like I downloaded some Mugen characters back in like 2008, and their 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 portrait was like Len eating cake. I don't know. There's actually quite a few images depicting Len eating cake. I don't know. I guess it's a thing. Battle by the Gazebo was a New York tournament series held throughout the mid to late 2000s. Remember when I said you could play Melty anywhere? Well, guess where these events were held. Eltnum and Undernight was from a scrapped high definition Melty boy. It's widely believed that the Eltnum sprites you see in Uniel were originally created as a part of a pitch to Type Moon in hopes of getting the rights for the Tsukihime characters back. This remains unverified, but it's entirely possible. I, I believe it. This chat, I mean, this scene occurs in Tsukihime in which Shiki suffers a psychotic breakdown fixating on a dining room chair, repeating the phrase, this chair, ad nauseum. Uh, that specific chair actually made it into Melty Blend as part of the Maid's Toolkit. Giant Akiha is a giant version of Akiha Tona who acts as the final boss in Boss Rush mode in React and Act Cadenza. She's a part of what's known as the Joke Cannon. Asuka 120%. Now that's a game that's popularity is dwarfed by its influence. Uh, this is easily like the second or third most important single game in the entire genre. It's the first air dasher, the first game to offer like a true freeform combo system. Air combos, it's got the real sauce, is what I'm saying. Basically, if Melty Blood was like a modern human and Street Fighter 2 was some sort of like ape, then Asuka 120 would be like a, a Homo erectus or some shit. Tear. You're huge! It means you've got huge guts! Rip a chair!
at Cadenza Tag Mechanics. Now, I, I personally didn't get into Melty until like Vanilla Actress again in like 2008 or some shit. So I personally had no idea at Cadenza had like a tag team mode, and it does. So that that's cool. Velakia's eyes bleed. It's easy to miss, but uh, Velakia doesn't have any eyeballs. Uh, those are not like red skull. Red skull. That's a hard fucking word. The white of the eyes. His white. The white of his eyes ain't red. The red pupils and the blood. No, no, that's not what's going on here. He just doesn't have any fucking eyes. It's just, it's just blood gushing out of his skull. Notorious Brand was a fake Fate Stay Night game developed by French Bread. Uh, Type Moon announced this game as an April Fool's joke, and it uses ten buttons. And the entire roster consists of puppet characters, so I mean, yeah, alright, let's fucking go. Ten buttons? Yo, custom stick. How the fuck do, do, do I'm thinking, does a normal stock pad even have that many buttons? Four shoulders, four fa- I, I guess the, the analog- PS2 censorship. The console ports of Melty Blood lack blood and gore, which is kind of funny because it's a game about vampires and it has the word blood in the title. Berserk Arsui is what Red Arsui used to be called. That's her old name. Yeah. French Bread doesn't approve of Mugen. On their old pages, FAC, which is what I call it, don't, don't at me, they made it clear that they don't approve of fans converting their characters to Mugen, However, uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they're not going to tell you to stop. So, so take that information as you will. Hey, did you know Satsuki Super does additional damage against Shiki Tono? This is a reference to the canonical lore of Tsukihime. Satsuki inevitably either dies or becomes vampiric due to Shiki's actions or inactions throughout the course of that visual novel. This, of course, is her revenge against him. Fake movies were more of Type Moon's April Fool's jokes. Announcements were made for Neko Arc the movie in 20, 2005. 2005. Neko Arc Chaos Evolution, Neko Arc Final Wars, and Kill CL in 2007, and Chemical Mei Kohaku in 2012. Carnival Phantasm is a series of crossover animated films made to commemorate Type Moon's anniversaries every 10 years. If you want to see a Neko Arc anime, this it's about as close as you're gonna get. Rice beef? R rice? Yeah, I, I've never heard it sp like said before. Rice beef? Rice beef? Rice? Rice chicken? Rice? Rice beef? Rice beef? I'm keeping this in. Rise Beef was originally conceived as the protagonist. Yeah, you see, Roast Beef was actually designed as early as Vanilla Melty Blood. Uh, she was intended to be the protagonist for the spin-off series, however, Type Moon was kind enough to furnish them with Elpnum, and insisted they make her the hero of Melty instead. French Bread sat on Rice Beef a bit, uh, she eventually made her way back into Actress again, so good for her. Mekashiki is a joke character from a drama CD. He's um, no, a robot version of Shiki. Red Arsuid super armor. Yeah, so like in vanilla Melty Blood, Red Arsuid used to have armor on the start of like every attack. And then they next it in React. Ryogi's not from Tsukihime canon. She actually originates from a prior Type Moon novel, Kara no Kyokai. This series is uh, almost a first draft of Tsukihime's mythos, featuring many similar themes and elements. I mean, fuck, the protagonist has the same power as Shiki. Like, it's, it's, it's the same thing. The Actress Again current code boss version of Akiha is actually from Vanilla Actress Again. See, in the boss rush, you face uh, Half Moon Akiha, but it's not current code's iteration of that particular character. It's actually Half Moon Akiha from the previous revision. And not just mechanically either. Uh, joke character Neko Arc breaks the fourth wall to, like, explicitly inform us that this is a version of a character from a previous build of the game. Holiday title screens. Akadenza has a few time-sensitive easter eggs. You play on Christmas, New Year's, or Len's birthday, which is September 9th, you get a custom festive title screen. CL and Arc trade easter egg. Okay. So sit down for this one. In Vanilla Melty Blood, if you play a Seal versus RCE, and the third hit, and only the third hit, of her 5A chain, trades with a jab from Arsuid, 
custom animation plays. Uh, this was removed in React because everything was apparent. It can only be done in vanilla Melty Blood, obscuring this easter egg even further. Vermilion Akiha trains the opponent's life via contact, just like in the lore, that is her power is to suck people's life force. Um, of course, this is wildly unbalanced for a fighting game, so once again, guess when it was ditched? That's right, Melty Blood React, you got it. Act Cadenza 4 Player Mode. Yeah, you heard that, right? Remember how I said Act Cadenza had a tag mode? Well, it also has full four-player support. It's very similar to Cross Tekken Scramble mode or Guilty Gear Iska, so basically it's an unplayable mess, but yeah, it's fun. Urobura is a satirical Melty Blood fan game developed using 2D Fighter Maker 2, made by Soft Circle YZ, featuring an art style reminiscent of Crayon Shinchan, I, I suppose. Unfortunately, this game runs on an ancient engine. I tried everything to play it. Uh, simulated Japan locale, actual Japan locale, administrator mode, Windows XP compatibility mode, I, I don't know. Whatever I did, the game would just like lock up whenever a match started. So in enjoy this footage I poached off of YouTube instead. Glitches are kind of... Yeah, so that was the Melty Blood Iceberg. I made this one on a, on a Tuesday afternoon. It took me almost three hours of a, a back-breaking labor, just, just exhaustive research. So, I mean, if you want, what you could do is, uh, you know, I got a Patreon. We got all sorts of plans. You know, give me a dollar. I'll give you a thumbs up. Give me $20. I'll give you a 60-second shitpost meme video that you can enjoy. You've seen the ones I've been making, right? The Tupac shit, right? Right, we got Ben Shapiro, we got we got Beavis and Butthead, all sorts of fun stuff, all right? Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, why, why not uh, mash 2A? And by 2A, I mean that little bell down there, do that. Anyway, I got some, uh, some great videos, they're all Melty Blood related, and uh, you know, at, by the time you're watching this, I'm recording this obviously earlier, then you're watching it because videos are not like manifested in real time by sheer force of will but yeah if everything goes according to plan it should be october right now which means watch out for toho ween and in the meantime watch this shit that's up on screen it's good i promise Rise, bull